Hey everyone, uh, today I'm doing my uh, portable gas grill unboxing and um, I, I I know this this one is really really good for a summer camping uh, it will, uh, has easy to use so I found this in, uh, at Winco today so I it's not bad, the price is uh, $25 so it has it's 170 square inches cooking surface powerful 11,000 BTU burner, porcelain in a mill finished fire bowl, used under two clean bottle. Maybe I'll buy them separately. So, um, <clears throat> let's open it so I can show you. This is more better than, than the charcoal thing, you know, so you don't have to get dirty, hot. This is really, really great. You could even use this on your porch, you don't have to go like outside, you know in the winter as well. So I'll take that one. My favorite color as well, the red. Get that, okay. This one, so uh, we have to assemble all this. I use I, I use one before and like this, and this is really really great. You can see it. Uh, it has to uh, cover it too. Uh, cover. Yeah, this one is the cover. You just have to put the handle right here. You gotta put them all together. So I'm going to show you after I put it together. All right, uh, here's the finish. I, I assembled it, we assembled it. And uh, totally they are very, very, very simple. So that's how it looks. Put the, the burner, the burner right here. And you put this, uh, this to, to, to just distribute the heat. But you could also put a lava rock in here. A lava rock all around it. And this should get more and more more heat and put uh, more barbecue butter and uh, put the handle on the legs and uh, propane handle so I got the uh, propane separately for three dollars so um we could do the try the one and um yeah like I said earlier they were great for uh, picnic campings and they are not for indoors they are only for outdoors of course um like especially right now it's too hot outside so I'm just gonna use it on my front front porch. You know, or we're gonna go um picnic at the park, you know, whatever like that. So it sounds good. That's that's how I got this because I really really love portable grill. I don't wanna deal with a charcoal thing, you know, the big grills. Just for the small family, you know, it's great for small family. So anyway, um I'm going to uh, try them on. I'm going to have my uh, carne asada here, barbecue. So you can see um, how how it cooks, you know, I just go to the... Oh, there's a stick. There. There you go. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. There you go. 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 There I've been recording. <laughs> oh. So now I could turn it up. <clears throat> like medium, we could go low, medium. If you go high, they're there too high. So see, now you see, gotta let it warm up or something. Right here, yeah, we have lava right here. We more. You could see all the heat. So I'll go high for now. I'll go high for now. Then once I put the meat in, then I'm gonna put it on. Uh, medium on a medium heat. So uh, right now I'm doing barbecue carne asada. Um, it's uh, like a thin beef and it's all marinated already when I bought it. Oops. So I'm going to turn it on low for now or maybe medium.
You could hear the sizzling. I'm so excited for this. <laughs> I've been wanting this grill for so long. I just don't like the charcoal. I don't want to go through all the mess. Yeah, it is messy, huh? It's messy, but this one is a big piece. Damn, smells yeah, good. Smells so good. There goes, um, <clears throat> like I said, you know, this is more great for family, you know, and, uh, like, cook, like the quick dinner, barbecue, so you don't have to do so much work, all the charcoal thing, cleaning. And it's easy to clean as well. So just, you know, clean them up easy. Just rinse with holes. So you can turn it up on low, like low. You ready to eat, em? Yeah, it smells bomb. Mm -hmm. Now it's done. It smells so good. Uh, mm. Now I'm gonna do after this. I'm, I'm cooking some corn. I love this grill. So easy to use. Just so so easy. Look at that. Mm. Now I'll cook some more corn. Okay guys, um, I'm done with my barbecue and my corn. Um, I'm also uh, throwing there uh, some dried fish. It's bulad, they call it bulad in, uh, in our language. And I uh, got yeah, two kinds, this is the sardines and uh, dried mackerel. And the reason, you could cook them uh, in so many ways. You could cook them fried or grilled or we put them in soup, but uh, I'd rather cook them outside because one time I cooked inside the house and oh my god, you don't want to do that. Just the smell just stay there. So I'd rather cook them outside in my grill and I just covered it and that's it. Let the smell be outdoor. Let the smell be outdoor. Not indoor. But this, this, you might be smells maybe kind of weird, but. It smells it's really bomb. disgusting. Might it's smell, bomb though. You know, it's really good. So uh, we're gonna dip it in your vinegar later on. They, they cook pretty fast, like a couple minutes, you know. You could dip it in Both vinegar sides. or, or uh, lemon. Oh, lemon, yeah. Yeah, they're really good. Okay, so let's have it for now. Now let's All right, oh, it's good to be back inside the house. So hot, and I have my food already. Okay, here we have the, the, the bulat, the salted fish. Carne asada, because we're ready to eat. And we're so hungry. So we're going to use this kind of vinegar. This is um, uh, coconut wine and liquid vinegar. So we call them suka. And they are uh, spicy and they're really good with salted fish, meat, or other type of uh, meat that you, you like to, to eat with that. And... Alright, let's go eat. Kauna.